This one will just click on when it wants to. <laughs> Magic my ass. And somebody just be clicking my phone up. Burning fucking holes in my shit. And it form over heart and it's red. How the fuck is it red? You know, that be some alchemical shit going on. <sighs> so, from time to time. I play or dance with the idea of dying. You gotta die. From time to time. Not all the time, like no suicidal shit. Come on, y'all. It's intent behind it. Don't go worldly on me. Don't go mental health system on me. <laughs> Hell no. Don't go therapist on me. I always felt like it was, I guess it was because of where I was consciously. I always felt, I'm just sharing this with y'all, just in case you want to dance with death in a pale moonlight. But uh, it's best to do it when you sleep, you know? Because they say death, sleep is another form of death. So it's best to do it when you kind of trying to fall to sleep. It's just because sometimes it's been times, and this is what it felt like yesterday. It never felt like that before. Anytime I dance with it, it's more nervous tension behind it. You know, feel like turbulence on the plane. So I always felt at a certain part of my consciousness, a certain level of my consciousness, I always felt like it was going to be turbulent to go, you know. <laughs> like death is not an easy thing to, you know. Can't just fall asleep and, you know, you're gone. Or the people just, boom, shoot you in the head. I see it in like... Not such a smooth transition, regardless of how you die. However, I have fell asleep before. This is going to be a Capricorn reading, by the way. Um, and uh, Capricorn is currently in Pluto. And Pluto is retro in Pluto until 10, 10, 23. But Pluto is more of a generational planet dealing with you know, collective, even though all of these placements are collective because it's a particular planet that's going to be in a sign for that particular amount of time. So it's for everybody on the earth. It's not, you know, individually based. However, Pluto is more generationally based. However, it's going to affect all generations. Hello, somebody. Anyway. Sometimes this may have happened to y'all. They call it sleep paralysis, but I don't think it is sleep paralysis when it happens to me. I feel like I'm dying, like I'm dead. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, why am I not waking up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you up, your soul is up, your spirit is up, but your body, the connection just not being made. Some people get real scared. That shit is scary, like. But I'm more, of course, being a Virgo, I'm analyzing, what the fuck is this? Like, I want to wake up. Why aren't you waking up, self? You know what I'm saying? Body. Like, <laughs> okay, so this is what death feels like. You just, you know, gone. You ain't coming back there no more. However, yesterday, it was more like real peaceful, like going to sleep. You just wake up on the other side. It was just weird as fuck. It was weird as fuck, y'all. The reason why it was weird is because nothing is a struggle. You know, it takes to manifest something even is a struggle on earth, you know. Or if you want something, you got to go get it. If you don't go get it, then you ask somebody to bring it to you, right? You know, different than Uber Eats, calling a friend, or you having to get in your car and go get it. Even... If you want to talk to a loved one, you got to pick up the phone or they got to call you. You know what I'm saying? Even on a mental telepathy side, it's kind of like the fifth dimensional shit to me is, oh, Pluto is dealing with new world order. It's just a new world. Oh, shit passed away. It don't work no more. You just turn it in for the parts, you know, like an old ass whip, you know, just get some good steel. Maybe you can the steel yard or because <clears throat> all this old ass shit is about tag. That's why it's looking all over the place everywhere. Just and people just all kind of shit coming out of people. 
Not that you care, because it's just like, would you just shut up? But they don't know what to do. People are scared of their mind, so you know they're definitely scared of death. If you're scared of death, then I advise you to dance with it just a little bit. Just tap it and come on out of there. Don't be sitting up there. Uh, you know, you better be low key skilled, <laughs> cause you want that shit to turn into suicide nowadays, and I ain't never got the time for the liability. <laughs> Just hit it and quit it. Think I'm gonna hit it and quit it. But anyway, it's more like, like you gotta text somebody to say, uh, "Hey, yeah." Mm -mm. On the other side, whatever is in your heart, that's what God himself told me. Whatever is in your heart, it manifests like that. Like the zoo, you know how it just used to pop out of it? Then there, you ain't got to go get shit. Just say me like, I want some weed. You ain't even got to say it. This is eternity. It don't end. So it made it weird because now it was a struggle. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, like if I like say you be like I want to go driving, you would just be in a car driving. Say you be like I want some weed, you would just look down and it'd be a rolled up blunt or whatever you smoke, just sitting there. Like damn, desire. I'm telling you, just like that, no waiter or nothing, just there. You got a taste for a cherry coke. I ain't saying it all loud, y'all. You can, you ain't limited, but I'm just saying, know what's in there. Oh, cherry coke right there in your hand. Like, damn, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> and I really do think, like, if it's somebody, it's really your, in here. So whoever you really desire in here, that's who it is over there. So it's like, if you die before the person that you desire, if they're still alive, you still going to end up getting them over there. Even though they're alive on earth. If this was in there, you know, that's why some people shit is going to be hell because this was in there. They desire is to destroy, kill, steal, destroy, just destructive, chaotic. This was in there. That's what they desire. That's why they act out on it. What we desire on this side takes a minute to manifest because of breakdown of communication. I mean, it's whack. It's totally fucking whack. I'm telling you, earth is whack compared to the afterlife if your heart is pure circumcised clean out you done dealt with some shit you know what i'm saying and looked into yourself the darkest parts of that motherfucking shit and sometimes you realize you ain't the darkest motherfucker in the world okay and she's like oh i am a lamb because honey baby what these motherfuckers actually doing doing and i ain't even you wouldn't even consider that shit for real. It's like things go, Carl Young was on point. That should be turning into uglier things when you don't deal with shit. I was saying to my ancestors for real, like, I see how jealousy can turn into envy if you don't check it because you don't want to acknowledge that you feel it. You know what I'm saying? You got to acknowledge shit because we human. And this world is a certain type of way. And it, it, it just shape you real fucked up in some ways. So when that fucked up shit creep in you, you got to accept it, recognize it, and extract that shit. Like, ugh, because it ain't even going to feel right sitting up in your chest no motherfucking way. So people just ain't cut to be a hater. Ain't cut to be where jealousy turns into envy. You know what I'm saying? You catch it at jealousy. Like, oh, look, why I'm looking at her like that? You know what I'm saying? Why well, I'm mad they got that car. Oh, that don't feel right. Let me get that up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Who doing that shit? Clearly some of you, I know I do, but most people don't keep a check system on their heart space. So that shit turned into monstrous. Motherfuckers just shadow banning you, talking crazy in your comment section. You know what I'm saying? Harassing the fuck out of you in your DMs. It's just a bunch of bullshit. You know? Yeah. So when they transition, what they get is just a bunch of destruction, death. You know, <laughs> all the shit they put out, that's what they get, because that's what they desire to do. Motherfucker, you ain't, if you ain't want to do it, stop being. Stop being. How much motherfucker got to say? 
Stop harassing me in the comment section. Stop doing this to me. Please stop. Just stop. Do they stop? No. This is what the fuck they want to do. Don't tell me you don't want to be like that and you still be being like that. Make that change. They don't want to look into the mirror. They don't want to see what the fuck is inside of them. Even though they acted it out. They don't want to understand why they're doing it. They just keep doing it. Get a, some type of thrill, sick, sick thrill off of it. You motherfucker, you want to have a thrill of good time when you cross over, motherfucker. For real, though. I'm saying people be sad when people cross over. My father used to say it all the time. Me and me, people should celebrate when people are born into the world. They shouldn't celebrate when people are born into the world. They should mourn when they brought in and celebrate when they go out. Why they do it opposite me, me? I don't know, daddy. I don't know. King of Cups. The Hermit. Yeah, people be sad and shit sometimes. They're bringing people down. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, you know. Why is your countenance falling? Can you uh, raise the roof, honey? Can you raise the vibe? Because honey, let me tell you something. I'm about to get away from you with all that drag. I'm just doing real good over here. I ain't got to call nobody for a thing. While we setting up over there, motherfucker, burden, way motherfucker, magic wands to go, honey, way for shit to manifest, taking all day. It take, then we convince ourselves that things take all this time and this and that. Yeah. We like, you are, who sold you people to build it good, son? Because y'all about them lies. Taking a whole bunch of goddamn time. Man of Cups, wish fulfillment. Divine timing. <laughs> you know. Okay. Your wish fulfillment is a burden. That's crazy. That's got to change, man. This shit ain't gonna work, man. Ace of Cups. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Well, all the motherfucking motherfuckers need is love. It's taking us a burden and you don't want it. Ain't that weird as fuck, y'all? It's true, though. It's true. People don't even recognize what's not them, what's not themselves. So they just act out like people rule people in comment sections and shit like that, or people just, just you just don't get it. Like, why don't you just stop being a bitch kind of shit? They don't know, especially if they was raised by a bitch. They just being who they was raised by, a control freak type of motherfucker. Want to tell you how to wear your hair on your platform? They don't like your nails. They don't like this. Why you doing that? Why your house ain't that? Why you ain't doing your children? Get your children. Get them. Put some clothes on that baby. Just any goddamn thing all the time, time. Where's your children at, honey? They be having parents that's like that. Or had parents that was like that. They just doppelganger in their goddamn parents, honey. I'm trying to tell y'all. All y'all see is burdens. You know? Because the more that you manifest, the more that you got to be responsible for in this world. And then it's stress to keep that same energy level so that you can keep attracting um, the lifestyle that you want. Hereafter. Mm -mm. Honey, <laughs> let me tell you. Some of this energy is ancestors' energy. Emperors probably feel me on this too with BS and shit like that. This shit ain't no dope. It take discipline to have wealth and maintain it. For real. And people be subtly talking about what you should do and this and that and this and that. Like, shut up. Yeah, some ancestors just... Y'all, some people, you on their mind, you know? Or they desire to see you, so they in your house. Like, you know, I always thought, like, Damn, what, how do they get from place to place? And sometimes they do. They jump in your car. Any motherfucking thing they don't give a fuck. And getting to where they need to go. However, if their, if their desire to be around you is that strong, yeah, they'll just be popping up in your house. You know? 
So Earth is a drag, you know? So they really be loving you, Kim. She just this shit. Honey, baby. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, some of y'all may have a um King of Swords in y'all experience, Gemini, Aquarius, or uh, Libra. Sometimes, yeah, they be working. They ain't got they they shouldn't have to be working. It's called rest in peace for a reason. Especially if they already did put in work on this side. You know? For real. And sometimes they gotta transmute and work through shit to be able to get to those desires. Not bad at all. Do the great work. But just shit, you know, work so much that they didn't even pay no attention to their own self. They maintain their soul, but doing the work on that motherfucker, where do you have the time? If you steadily working for earthly, earthly things, earthly causes, activists, you know what I'm saying? Some people, older people, could do it simultaneously, deal with themselves and certain, you get tired, man. And people ain't really able to teach you hands-on, step-by-step, because everybody's so fucking busy working on this earth. Never really considering death. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all just, you know, may have had a thought run through your mind. Sometimes people get scared of it. But yeah, sometimes they don't get in people's cars. Because to see what's going on down here. The mindset. You learn a lot from a conversation. You learn a lot from what's on the motherfucking radio. Or what's somebody playing. What kind of music they playing. Motherfuckers talk to themselves if it ain't nobody in here with them. You won't learn something. Even if it's the ride to where you going. You know what I'm saying? They got a whole bunch of motherfucking leverage. Let me just say that. And I know that from what I experienced yesterday. Oh, damn. It was just weird. Because you didn't have to work so fucking hard to get shit, you know? Like, damn. It's just right here. Right, or to maintain it. You know, whose desires to be homeless, Kim? Shit. You know? <laughs> For real. But life will fuck you up in that way where there's some shit you gotta work through. So that you can get to what you really, truly desire. The treasures in your heart space that's buried. Like, damn, I'm going to be glad when this shit. Is we there yet? You know what I'm saying? Two of swords. Some of y'all going to consider what I'm saying? Play with it. See what you're going to be, you know what I'm saying? Judgment. You know, I think, I'm thinking turbulence on a plane. And it's more like what I've already experienced, not being able to re-enter my body. Like, it's just a done deal. I'm not going back over there. And get used to not working hard. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hell no. The lovers. Some people may have had... I be I be thinking of all kinds of stuff. They say you should you should you should because even what I tapped yesterday, it's more to that. It's limitless. It's limitless. You it's so oof oof. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all go there. Just go there. Just go there, honey. Get to know yourself in a deeper way. Some of y'all saying, "Who would I desire?" Well, if you ain't got nobody, who would you desire? Mm hmm I was thinking that too. Like, who would I desire? Because I ain't got no money. Mm hmm That's crazy. I guess you would desire whoever you end up with on this side. If you don't end up with nobody on this side... Maybe, maybe the embodiment of your desire, who you were supposed to meet, if you don't, you know what I'm saying? You got to take all things into consideration. Because this motherfucking shit, honey, let me tell you something, I live in Gotham City. 
Start them city. The fool. No desire whatsoever. This will make it weird. Because you would think you don't. I was laughing because I thought about where Osho, when I went to Astro Travel to meet Osho, where he was at. I was like, oh, you? I could tell where he was at. He's he's really a galactic, different, like, what part of the fucking galaxy did you come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, was you a whole ass constellation? I'm trying to figure it out. Because it's like, he liked being in the void of the cosmos. Nothing, literally nothing. Dark as these glasses. No noise or nothing. Cool, cool. Like, damn, you know? <laughs> nothing. So, that's possibility. You can't let it. I'm trying to tell you. You can't fucking let it. You cannot. You really can't. To limit it is to be stupid. Let's just see. Also, this will, this will happen when I went there. You know, I don't know what's going to happen when you go, gal. You know, so this is what I experienced in astral travel. Put it together. That's what reading stars is all about. Past life. Somebody from y'all past. Somebody from y'all childhood. Love or situation that y'all desire. You got to be honest with your motherfucking self, honey. Don't be sitting up there faking out, honey. No, you can't do that. Don't do that. That's that shit today. When you cross over, they motherfucker got to find what you really want. And you just keep experiencing the lie you motherfucking telling yourself kind of shit. Like, uh-uh. Be real with it. Some of y'all desire somebody from y'all past. Y'all may be mad at them or something. I don't know. Something went wrong. The one that got away. Whatever the case may be. There's somebody tied to y'all past. And I don't feel like recent past. Like somebody. Either past life or like teenage years. Early 20s if you're a little older. And some of y'all completely letting go of the past. Anybody connected to that motherfucker. Done deal. Honey. Let me tell you something. The ones that's curious about who the lover would be. Who would you be desiring if you were to pass over? You know what I'm saying? Y'all clueless. Spin the wheel, all your celebrity crushes. You know, in a bit of bed with them. Hell no. <laughs> hey, look, you know, for real. Some of y'all always have to get somebody. And some of y'all just do the past behind. You, you're not on that. I'm there too, y'all. New world order, honey. All things are new. Right, listen. be like this y'all it was like this you know you wouldn't be like this you wouldn't be like this you see she already crying hold that like, okay. uh-uh it come in swift i'm on a cookie boom look down the cookie in your hand you hear me anything anything i'm like well this is crazy it ain't stopping you know earth devastates you i didn't know that shit it was like, okay, you gotta get accustomed to ease. Because, God damn, I just came from some difficulties. God damn, man, let's dang. For real. Ridiculous. And Earth is really supposed to, that's what it's heaven and Earth. Earth is really, Earth wasn't never supposed to become hell. Nigga, that's a personal motherfucking problem, bitch. You know, they don't be doing their work. They don't be doing self-evaluation. They be rejecting. They be lying. They be seven of swords and tricking and scheming and scamming and flopping around. Breaking people heart. You know, just come in your life and leave you with a bunch of motherfucking work to do. You ain't asked for no motherfucking more work to do. You know what I'm saying? Who needs the extra fucking work? Honey, I'm trying to tell you. 
bullshit, you know? Like, I do not give you permission to stab me up. You are ridiculous. If you have a problem in your comment section, to me, if you don't want to cut it off because you like to engage your audience, you have to learn how to know somebody's mentally ill. You know, if you want to play with them, hit it and quit it. Hit it and quit it. Come on up under there. You know, no, don't keep on. There's something wrong with the motherfucker. Hello, somebody. Well, bitch, I got a whole lot of shit going on. You don't know nothing just because I'm on here talking to your motherfucker, man. Right? This is, you only know this part. When I hang this up or do whatever the fuck, and I go out there, you don't know unless I turn my phone out. And I ain't talking about surveillance search. These motherfuckers are stupid. Just a bunch of voices and people and programs and conditioning. It has nothing to do with you. I, mean, I wouldn't waste my time. The hangman. Mm hmm. Looking into a three of swords situation. Not afraid to. Capricorns ain't never been afraid to look at no fucking hard work. Y'all, honey, let me tell you something. Well, stew and stew and stew. This motherfucker was something else. Just naturally transmute pain. You know? I mean, go dark. Go deep, dark, dark. And go there. Go and come out unscathed, too. Eat that shit for breakfast. Goddamn. Seven of Pentacles on a four of Pentacles. What? You see what I'm saying? What the fuck is this? People gotta pay. Honey, let me tell you something. People gotta pay. People gotta motherfucking pay. I'm gonna tell you since when they gotta pay. This this time this how much y'all owe since then. They've been fucking with y'all money since 2021. Since 2021. Motherfucking year of Oshun. If you deal with the energy of Oshun, definitely your motherfucking ass. They taking shit from you. That five chaos year, getting on that chaos magic, that dumb shit, using sex magic and all that shit, doing it wrong, fucked up. Just thirsty and greedy and you know, unused to shit and just doing it wrong. Doing it wrong as far as manifesting anything is concerned. Leave everybody with a bunch of motherfucking work all the fucking time. This ain't nothing but a big ass plantation. I don't give a fuck what your race is, bitch. For real. Motherfuckers be doing everything but the right thing, trying not to do their work. Capricorn is one sign. Y'all not about to sit up. No, y'all about to go in. The darkest corner, bitch. For real, let me spark it for me like a motherfucker. A lot of people ain't like that. You trying to skip steps. And then everybody ends up having to sweep all the motherfucking steps. Like, hold the fuck up. I, I ain't about to keep on. Motherfuckers be trying to figure out a way to walk off of earth without killing themselves. <laughs> like, damn, why the fuck you think you about to do that, though? <laughs> Uh, hell no, that's funny as fuck. This shit real. Pluto, how am I? I'm gonna see what Pluto hit for on my own um, chart. But it's, it's in Capricorn Retro, too. <sighs> back, back, forth, and forth. Back, back, forth, and forth. Shit, man. Back, back, forth, and forth. On a hangman. Some of y'all in y'all head. What the fuck do witchcraft got to do with it, though? Some people doing witchcraft to put their own money slowing this shit up. This, this shit's just fucked up. You know? It's like going up under a bridge and you see some water and you think you can get in and next thing you know, motherfucking car cut off because it's so goddamn deep. Like, I ain't know that shit was that goddamn deep. I thought I could go ahead and drive through it. Uh-uh. And it's death. They doing death spells. All kind of shit on people. Working in groups of threes. Some of y'all can feel. I can. You can feel the death in the air. You know, this shit is about to change. You just need a redo like a motherfucker. Yo, low, honey. Let me tell you something. People struggling to breathe with oxygen and shit all around the world. 
I be hearing people wheezing. Sometimes I do. It ain't no motherfucking allergies. These motherfucking oxygen levels dropping. These motherfuckers do more talking than they do working. And they definitely do more talking than they do reflecting and thinking. Before they open up their fat mouths. Sucking up all the goddamn air. Shut up. Especially when you know what the fuck you talking about. Ace of Pentacles. I can talk, bitch. You can, can't you? You know, like, man. Y'all money about to come. This is, ooh, y'all is stressed out about this money situation. Everybody is. How last hour, but these hoes about to catch a tower, too. You know, get to work. Get to work. And quit stalling. You know? The world. What ends up happening is the workers burn out. And it's nothing. It's just like everything collapses because you can only do what you can do. You tired. Let me look at talking about Beyonce. She's sitting down too much. And one girl said, I'll be reading the comments. She was like, I can't wait until I, um, just to show you how people crazy for real. I can't wait to, I pray that I get the opportunity to see her in concert before I die. And I was like, damn, when you plan on dying? And how old is you? And how old do you think she is? She about to keep on with that shit? And she's sitting down already? Thinking she going down? Pray, please. And girl, that is not realistic. And neither is it because somebody can just keep on dancing all night on it. Everybody ain't seen this turn, right? And she got to see a fuck this shit. Change, healing, organization, society, strongholds. This is Pluto. Ruba, Scorpio, transformative, compulsion, obsessive thinking. Morality, yeah, like don't know, don't know no other thought processes. Keep doing the same shit, and it's making people get stuck. And then some people are just producers, where it would make you think they got money that they don't. God, they just got shit to work with to keep putting shit out there to be bought. That doesn't necessarily mean that shit is being bought. And a lot of time, motherfucker be lying to make you think they doing something they ain't, the numbers they ain't really doing. But that ain't nothing but magic to me. That's playing magician. For real. If you in if you in business, you sometimes you gotta do shit a certain kind of way because of the mindset of P of the consumer. If a motherfucker think you ain't got shit, they ain't gonna fuck with you. And you can have the best product in the world. You just ain't making no sales based off the economy. And a motherfucker thinking that she got 10, 20 years to wait on Beyonce to do another concert. This is a mindset. Weird. Unrealistic as fuck. Strongholds. Motherfuckers that don't want to let go. Motherfuckers that don't want to change. Motherfuckers want to just keep doing the same shit. Motherfuckers think they can just keep on causing you towers. Keep on putting ads in your bed. Keep on doing shit. And then get shocked when you come at them like, why are you kind of like that? Motherfucker, do you know you was retarded? And I ain't talking about the ones that suffer coming into the world disabled. No. Motherfucker can do all this. Uh, listen. Ain't been more getting disability. But keep redoing shit over and over again. Wrong in a motherfucker. Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, Venus. I guess I will do good. Just take it out of here. Pluto, completion, alchemy, treachery, gnosis, metaphysics, end of karmic cycle, ten of cups, ten of swords. Oh, they come together. The solar system. So, where... These placements, you got to keep up with that, y'all. I know it seems like a lot, but listen, y'all already know where we live at. Honey. The get shot like get to, honey, earth, honey, zero stars, honey. Disappointed in a motherfucker. Um, you got to keep up with the planets and stuff, what signs you're in, how long you're in, because it's going to affect you, and you could be acting away, feeling away, 
You don't even realize, you know what I'm saying? Don't realize you being ruled by Pluto right now, Capricorn. So motherfucker maybe getting extra treacherous. You trying to figure out like, what the fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers? Pluto rules motherfuckers being treacherous. Based off of people coming into like gnosis or uh, altruism, you know, just because you go to church, I'm not condemning you. Just because you go to mosque, I'm not condemning you. That's what you want to do. I don't even know why people took it there anyway, getting in people's personal walks. You know, like, what are you doing? Fixed. So these motherfuckers that won't knock it off. So y'all be getting rid of a lot of motherfuckers with this placement, Capricorn. Hierarchies and government. Gonna have to deal with some of this bullshit. Entertainment. People in the entertainment industry. Hold on, y'all. Erica Badu is crazy. She made her candle go out and then relit it. It keep going out and she relights it. She's crazy. <laughs> she playing magician right now. Air, water, moon phases is going to matter. So keep up with the moon phases. And say it's a factor. Keep up with the air and water in your chart. If you got air and water in your chart, you Capricorn, keep up with that shit. How you affected. People will tell you you crazy and they be the craziest motherfuckers, honey. And they will throw you in a motherfucking pit. And you are bad at bullshit because you are acting out a certain way. And you don't know why you're acting out that certain way. You don't understand why people coming at you the way they coming at you. You don't understand why society, this is Pluto with societal views. Why people viewing shit a certain kind of way. Why they viewing you? Why are you talking to me like that kind of situation? These are the type of motherfuckers that if they do go there, they fixed on that shit. They not changing their stance. You can't change them. So either you're going to adjust or you're going to leave them the fuck alone. It ain't no way around it. Completion. Fixed. New world order. That means your personal motherfucking world. End of a karmic cycle. Not about to keep on with the cleanup. Because Capricorns work just as hard as motherfucking Virgos and Tauruses. Earth signs. Look. We into janitors. Okay, enough, enough. You're going to quit throwing that paper down on the ground. Okay, for real. Entertainers, Pluto, entertainment, entertainment industry. So, any entertainment industry, honey, let me tell you something. Motherfucker mean what they say and say what they mean. You ain't better change their mind, whether it's for good or bad. So just know you're going to either have to adjust or you're going to have to get some scissors and cut the motherfuckers off because they ain't changing. Whether they good or bad. You know? So people, you happy, they fix. Good. You know? Like, okay. This motherfucker, I'm rolling with this motherfucker. Okay. We till the wheels fall off again. Okay. So I fuck around and desire to see you in heaven and you gonna be there. Kind of shit. You know? If you want desire to see a motherfucker in heaven, then that's definitely a motherfucker you need to grab a pair of scissors on. You hear me? Sex, of course. Hidden passion, occult science, mysteries, regret, secrets, alchemy. Yeah, they're going to regret it, all right. Money of women. Keep on moving. Don't stop. So y'all gonna be experiencing a lot of what Scorpio experiences on the regular. Motherfuckers is relentless. Relentlessly in your DMs. Relentlessly trying to get at you. Relent I mean, like, damn. Okay. Okay. This is over. This is over. I tried, you know, to be cool with everybody. Because y'all know y'all good for that bullshit. Possessive. And vindictive extreme with the shit. So you really got to cut these motherfuckers. Obsessive too feisty. Just pop up at the spot. What you doing here? Kind of shit. I don't even like you. You're going to become more business savvy. And you're going to have more sex appeal. I pray y'all got somebody. 
I pray y'all fat. I pray y'all get some. Because, honey, who want to be bothered when you don't want these people? <sighs> Capricorn, I'm done with this baby. All right, y'all. I pray I help somebody. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.